everybody and welcome to a bonus non-Friday 15 minute video blab. Seeing as Friday was all about asking the question in Ireland, how easy is it to do a mobile blab? And we found the answer wasn't easy. It was not so easy. Me juggling cameras, laptops, mobile phones, everything else. <laughs> I and thought I'd do a bonus blab with today and bring in my fabulous buddy all the way from west coast of Canada, the fabulous Faith Woods. Hello. <laughs> and everybody, I want you to give a huge give props, big clap to Faith, please, because if you look, Faith, in the bottom corner, you'll see some little clappy hands. Okay. The hands sticking up like that. That means give props to, give claps to. The phone ringing in the background. Oh, the joyful things that we forget. <laughs> Blabbing from a snug, says David, who's in the room here with us here. Um, that would be well worth travelling to Ireland for. It is. It's, it's my little my little snug office here. And we were joking earlier. Um, Faith, have you got your performance pants on? I'm in my performance pants, my performance leggings, with my bright orange boots. <laughs> Woohoo! Performance pants and boots. <laughs> we, we were just joking that, uh, hey, the great thing with Blab is it's only here up. It's true. So we, can, we can chat. In so, theory, you can be in pyjama pants. You, you could be in your pajama, pajama pants, totally. And I think a lot of people do. I We have some people who join me on Friday afternoons here in Dublin from your side of the world in their pajamas and actually in bed and, and in Australia as well. For, friends your side with a cup of coffee in bed, friends in Australia with a glass of whatever in bed. <laughs> you got your connection there. So Faith, tell us a little bit about what you do and your Twitter handle. Remember, people, you can connect with Faith by the bubbles at the top here. And she is at inspiring underscore minds. So, Faith, tell us your story and about joining us here on Black today. Oh, what a long, eclectic journey that would be. Um, here, I'm known as the behaviorist. So I really work with individuals and corporations trying to work their way through conflict. Uh, as the president of the uh, Calgary, past president of the CAPS Calgary, um, Canadian. Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, Faith, just in case CAPS is, in case anybody doesn't know. Of professional speakers here on this side of the Rocky Mountains now. So recently moved in December and I've been looking at different ways of getting my message out. So how can I connect with people? How can I have different conversations? And I noticed that the amazing Lottie was on Blab and I see your regular post and I've been talking to a number of different people who have said they've been getting some huge success and, and having some real fun with Blab. And I thought, well, how fantastic to connect with somebody who's been playing with it since we met last um, October. It seems so long ago that I was in Dublin. I oh, know. <laughs> and uh, jealous always of the people who live across the pond, but just looking for a way to, to kind of have conversations with an international audience. And so excited to have this chance for you and I to chat and really look at the different ways we can use video blogs and podcasting and, uh, and get our message out there. So for me, mostly on conflict and stress management, uh, for you, mostly about how to look and feel okay on camera. Yeah, exactly. And, and a, a lot of it, as you said, it is playing and having fun when you get here. And uh, as, as usual, guys, do excuse me if I have to look down or look away, because that means I'm just checking to see if there's any messages. And when, when Faith mentions something, see if I can plug the URL into the messages there for you. And if anybody does have a question, remember, and a question for Faith, remember the forward slash and the queue and then a space. And that will allow you to type a question in. So Faith, for example, if, if I wanted to ask Faith a question, I would type forward slash Q. Here's my question for Faith. It would seem to me that it takes a while to to get on juggling on Blab between the Twitter feed and the video conversation. So you kind yeah. of have to be pretty good at that ADD, uh, attention deficit type of persona. <laughs> I, I think I think that's why, like we were chatting just beforehand, we were chatting about, uh, 
we were chatting about why and how it's quite useful to have a co-host when you're here in Twitter is, first of all, somebody to be able to read through and scroll through all the messages that are coming in and then to post the questions like like here's my question for Faith. Is it snowing? It's not snowing. It's not beautiful. Snowing. The but sun is shining. Snow on the mountaintops, you must have. We do have snow on the mountaintops. People are still doing spring skiing. So oh, it's all wow. We've, yeah. we've just got daffodils coming out here. We actually had um, Friday. Part of the reason that I was out and about on Friday was because it was uh, for Irish Cancer Society. Being a cancer, cancer survivor myself, um, it was Irish Cancer Society Daffodil Day. So there we go. That was me on Friday trying to sell. Oh, doesn't really work that well. Trying to sell some daffodils there on Friday. Nah, can't, really, can't really see that. <laughs> Let's cancel that one. Can't really see it. Oh, there we go. Selling daffodils for 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 fundraising there. Um, but so so Faith, this is the very very first time that you've been on Blab. Yes. From what you've seen, like what you normally do, because. I want you to share a little bit about um, what you do with video because I've heard you speak on a main stage and I've heard you been talking about different things and the youth groups that you work with and the speakers that you work with and businesses um, and the advice that you share your side of the world with what, why, how for video. So what having, I know it's just your first time here, but having looked in the last few days or so, last week or so, what can you see already would be some benefits of using Blab as a video tool to promote your business? You know, I, I think that the big one is to have the conversations like we're having right now. And it feels more like an individualized coaching session. So you, you almost get this a bit of a Q&A going. You get an opportunity for people to ask some really dynamic questions. On Thursday, for example, I'm, uh, I'm flying into to my old hometown in Airdrie. And I'm going to be having a conversation in a coffee shop about workplace bullying and some of the challenges of how we've made bullying kind of sexy lately. And it's created a completely mm. different um, agenda in terms of if somebody doesn't like you at work, you may start crying that you've been bullied when in fact it's just a matter that you're not being invited for drinks because maybe you're just not a nice person. Uh, maybe you're a bit like Donald Trump. <laughs> and people just don't want you at and, and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's bullying. But when we're in a, in a forum like Blab, we could have those very direct conversations that would then be recorded and the answers and the discussion would then be posted for people to go and review later, which I think is a pretty cool way of doing a pretty casual kind of conversation. It's pretty easy to set up. Uh, it, it allows for an opportunity for people to be joined in the conversation with the Twitter feed, although I can certainly see the distractions and the frustrations if there's not more than one person kind of co-hosting. Um, now, but, to, just, just so you know, this this isn't the messages come on either side. This isn't actually a live Twitter feed. Uh, this is a blab feed. But what right. you can do is, if you off, after the session, some of the conversation does get saved. Now, last week they were saving it. Before they didn't used to save any of the text. Okay. And you have to use a plugin called. Let me just put this in um, live. I think it was live WordPress was the was the plugin if you had a wordpress site that actually could save all the text in there for you as well uh but i think now um twit uh beef lab have been obviously still in beta for quite a while to go they've been testing how um they can keep the the text in here because then then we we do he see what people are posting and the, the conversations right. at the side but even just inviting people in to have the conversation with with you on Blab, as opposed to leaving them on the typing Q and A, if you could invite, you know, open it up to invite it, so you have almost a group conversation like you'd have in a coffee shop. And what yeah. it does do is allow you to have international guests, like we're doing this morning, um, at different time zones and the challenges that come with that. But to get a much more diverse conversation going, which I Absolutely. think. In, really add to the value of your business messages. For example, you were talking about confidence on camera, being able to kind of have a conversation that involves multi-dimensional uh, geography even, so that people are coming in, weighing in from different parts of 
you know, what's your background look like? For example, you know, mine is a sleeping dog. And, uh, <laughs> and so and, cute. Right? So she kind of flaked out next to the desk that yet need to be put together. And so the pros and cons of what's in the background. <laughs> And you can probably hear the that's, why, that's why I end up with the lovely with the easy pop up that you have in the background and the easy the easy things. You have you ever seen Neen James? You you know Neen very well. Um, she's a lovely speaker. She's um she's on the east coast of the states and and Neen always has her. She either has love messages behind her or her lovely pop up screens uh, behind her as well. Smart and smart. yeah. And, and and Art Art Jones, Art has just popped a message in here. Art Jones, I was saying to um, I was saying to you that actually, if you're talking bullying, Art Jones is a fabulous. Um, he's well known on Blab. He will be a lovely connection for you. Um, and he always has a very mean and moody black, lovely black backdrop behind him. But you kind of see different people that come on and set things up in different ways, which right. which works. And we've even got the voice of Blab, the lovely Roy, Roy Montero. He's East Coast of America. And he chose to not be a face on Blab. He decided to simply be a voice as a radio DJ that he could use Blab with just his voice. And I think it's it's just as powerful. Brilliant. Brilliant. But you do need to be aware of what is behind you. Yeah. Very much so. As opposed to Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I love, having, I love seeing Maddie there. I think that's actually what's, what's really nice because... <laughs> Because the rest of it, the rest of it is tidy. I, I was saying, very, very tidy behind you. I really don't want to dare show you what's behind the screen. <laughs> you know, it's this is my new office space. So, of course, we relocated geographically in December. And uh, so when I saw you in the fall, we were in the process of relocating for my husband's work. And so I've got um, a lovely space now that is a lower level walkout. And on, on a beautiful hill overlooking Vernon and Kalamelka Lake in British Columbia. And it's a gorgeous setting. Oh, wow. But it makes work very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> well, when I saw you, you when we first started, you, you turned the camera around, show me the beautiful view that you have there. But at, at least you kind of you've got that out at the side so you that's, can look out. To your I, I can see it, but I'm not, you know, I'm 100 percent distracted by it. Focus. focus power of focus we yeah. know about the power of focus because we can do a whole blab on the power of focus <laughs> yes well there's 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 a plenty plenty of blabs actually there's a, a other lovely there's a there's a cat like you were talking about um that you you get the feeling that this is a nice coffee morning type feel yeah. there is a wonderful um the coffee the coffee mindset the coffee collection i think they're called um Again, I think it's it's coming up soon for you and your time in the states. Now it's uh, now that it's oh, sorry in Canada, um, but it's their west coast of the states. So actually, Faith, you've changed clocks and states have changed their clocks this last yes. weekend. Yeah. Okay, we in Europe, in the UK and in Ireland, don't change ours until I think not this weekend, but actually the Easter weekend, the twenty something. I think you're two weeks ahead of us. So I know Australia and New Zealand changed theirs the same time as you guys do, but we're still, it's half past five in the afternoon here, which I think makes it just after half past 10 in the morning for you. Correct. Yeah, half past 10, nearly quarter to 11. So we've, we've, we've all jumped forward an hour. You guys have jumped forward an hour, but we haven't moved just yet. So, so we could have a lap who's... around how archaic that decision is. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> It's, uh, they, they used to be in Blab, they used to be up in one of the top corners, a, a map, which I actually quite like because it showed where in the world people were right. joining you via their live video streams. Uh, and a lot of people didn't like it because it didn't work half the time. And I said, it would just be lovely. Just put a time zone in there because we're always guesstimating. OK, it's five o'clock here. What time is that East Coast, West Coast? What time is that in Australia or Hong Kong right. Right. or in Malaysia or Japan? Because we've had blabs with people from Malaysia, from New Zealand, Australia, East Coast, West Coast, all over the world. We've had blabs from people, um, people popping in for, for video blabs. So, um, Faith, gosh, that was 15 minutes already. Can you believe it? I can believe it. So invite it's, David in, oh, tell me how that's done. Sorry? Show me how you invite David in. Oh, right. If I want to invite David in, yeah, let's let's say hello. We'll keep recording here, David, and get you to jump in. If you'd like to jump in, David, are you ready to jump in? So, because I saw that you were chatting with, with Faith earlier. 
Yay. Literally, all David does, when you open a seat, you can either lock a seat or open a seat. Okay. And then the person, somebody can call in, ask to be called in. Now, normally, um, when I click show callers, up on the my left-hand side, there's a button saying accept. So I'll click accept because you know David. And can you see now how there's a fourth seat that says open seat? Yes. Now, um, if we if we had a room full of people in the chat room at the sides, uh, and we didn't want um, we wanted to still keep it between the three of us because David's still connecting here, we can lock the seat, and then that keeps the conversation to just the three of us. So, how did you lock it? <coughs> I've, I've got, at my end, I've got the ability to lock. I get I get to see lock seat or unlock seat. Look so there we go. David's just joined us. Hey, David. He's wearing, he's wearing your colors. David, yes, he is. <laughs> Love the orange. <laughs> oh. We have your sound. We've got no sound for you just yet. You might need to check your microphone. This is what we found have been the issues sometimes with Blab, especially if you're new to Blab. Um, like We were actually very lucky today because you, you came straight in with your camera this, this is you, video expert. You know your camera and your no. sound is going to work. <laughs> I checked it earlier. Oh, good. <laughs> Did you go and do a blab test to check it earlier? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's the best way for anybody who is wanting to check is right. do go in. And at the top in the URL as well, you'll see a little camera, video camera, in the top right-hand corner of the URL. Can you see that? Do you see that, Faith? Do you see the camera in the in the URL bar? Yes. That's so if you clicked on that, you can always see which microphone and which camera you're using and you can continue allowing Blab to to access that and, okay. and that way you can check that everything is working well. David, have we got you yet with any sound? Try saying something. How can I turn on my mic? <laughs> Don't be rude. Well David, if you go to can you see at the top top bar? There should be in one corner the, the this this page. Scroll over the video camera and click on that, and it should be an option microphone and a drop down on your right hand side to which microphone you want to use. Now, if you've got that set up to the microphone you want to use and the camera you want to use, click done. And now, if we still can't hear you, what that might mean is you'll need. Say hello. No. No. Then, then what you might need to do is you may need to refresh, go out, and then come back in. So save the URL at the top, and uh, then you can turn it off. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to kick you out. What happens right now, Faith, okay. is because David's not there, can you see in the corner, you might see a little X. Do you see a, a, an X in the top top corner of a box or not? No. As a co-host? No. Okay. Well, that must be because I'm the main host, even though I made you a co-host. Um, that. Ooh, that's an interesting noise going on in the background. <laughs> Hi, True Carmine. Nice to see you in here as well. But what, what happens if you, you can pick somebody out, you can, by clicking on the X, you can ask them to leave. Okay. Um, and then it, it says at the top, do you, do you really want to kick them out? So you can go, yes, kick them out. So that's how you can actually keep control of yourself as the host and co-host. If somebody jumps into your blab and starts being abusive or rude in any way, you can ask them to leave. If they start doing the same in the chat room, and again, that's why I keep looking down every now and again for, away from the camera so that I can check the messages and say hello and see who's joined us. So I'm going to unlock the seat again and see if David can jump back in. Hopefully he's back in here now. Um, do you have any headphones? Oh, yeah. True, True Carmine says, if you've got any headphones, David, that should work. So, um, hi. Let's see. Is David, David, are you in just yet? Come on, we're actually just waiting to see if David can call in, if you wouldn't mind. Um, I'm going to ask get David to come in first uh, while we're still recording here. Yep, there we go. I'll accept David. Come on, thanks, thanks for volunteering to jump in anyway. That's yep. fantastic of you. So, David, let's see if we can say hello to you here. I know we're over our 15 minutes for our video blab, but it's, hey, this is a bonus one because I've got Facebook here with me. <laughs> okay, so that should, Yay! that should work out. Because what happened before I was trying to uh, 
to get fancy and plug in a different mic and it all just kind of collided so it said no forget it you're trying to be smart nothing's going to work for you okay there we go there we are there we go and then you can tilt yourself down slightly dave and we won't we won't have so much wasted space at the top of your head there with the uh, camera okay just let me get but other, other, otherwise lovely setup and i love your orange thank you very much <laughs> my pleasure uh let me just uh da -da 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 -da. And I know, come on, I know you um, you want to come and come in and say hello. Faith, do you know Carmine? Carmine? Yep. Do you know Carmine at all? I don't know. No. Um, Carmine, we now we an, another time I'd love to have you, you jumping in here, but um, normally what I what we do on the, the 15 minute video lab, we're well over our 15 minutes, and we're we're doing a test here for Faith with her friend David because this is the very first time she's new to Blab. So just so Faith can see how one person is here and we're recording. David, that is brilliant. That's, can you see yourself? Faith, can you see how it's a much better setup for David there? Yes. Um, yes. So to, I just adjust. I'm yeah, in the middle. Brilliant. And so even by that slight adjustment, can you see how A, David looks much, much better with the setup on camera and... Uh, <laughs> Okay. Now, and that's and that's the non shot. That's what we had earlier with the cleavage shot, male or female cleavage. <laughs> so, so and there we go. A slightly different angle there for David. So, Faith, can you you've kind of seen how Blab works a little bit? So, is it what, what can you see that you would use this for apart from just your coffee morning chats as a, the expert in the field that you're in, Faith? You know, I think that I would post it and have the links to your other longer videos. So if somebody was really interested in the topic that you were discussing, let's call it the coffee chat, and they get really interested that you could add some resources and links so that it gets shared out on social media. We talked about this. If you're interested in some more content, here's some places you can go to get it. And I think Blab just allows a level of personalization. So a bit more rapport, a bit more casual, get to know each other conversation so I, I have a question when would you if you're going to compare a uh, blab to zoom and its recording capability in multiple cases when would you use one uh, versus the other Lottie um, well blab as they said I, I would tend to use that I'm, I'm using it right now for because it's public this is a public medium so you don't necessarily want to use it for anything that it might might involve private training sessions um, I tend to go either, like you said, to use zoom.us, which is a fantastic tool that people like to use. A lot of trainers are using it both um, your side of the pond and our side of the pond. Not so much in Ireland, but a few early adopters are using it. The one thing that we found here in Ireland with zoom.us is that you need to have very good broadband. Right. Yeah. And even with Blab, like my question for my Friday 15 minute video Blab was how easy is mobile Blab on your phone? And I had everybody from Blab Nation, fantastic Blab group on Facebook. Go, do go and join them, Faith. They're amazing. Um, Jonathan Tripp and Leland Best, they have, um, I'll, I'll type in uh, Blab Nation uh, for you. And I'll and I'll get their I'll get their their Facebook URL in a moment for you when you're chatting next. There's a lot of really really useful helpful people that will give you advice on how to in lab and what you can use it for there as well. But I found that even being on the street, I had to take my little. This is my mobile Wi-Fi here, and I can get onto my onto my private Wi-Fi on my laptop on my mobile phone. But I found that on the streets in Ireland it didn't work properly. So I had to have the mobile phone on our cancer fundraising day, and I had to have my laptop, and I was kind of, I had the mobile phone on a tripod, luckily here, and I was having to use my laptop to be able to see myself, to be able to talk to myself on the camera, and then I, I kept having to do this between the two of them, because it didn't work as well as I'd hoped it was going to work. Because I so, think maybe we have slightly different setups with broadband Wi-Fi in Ireland than they do people do in the UK, people do in the US, maybe you, you do in Canada as well, Faith. So that so, was that's the one downside. So I, I noticed that since the call started, you've your signal started to kind of um, be blocking. 
Uh, Faith is still fine. She's not moving, <laughs> but uh, that's rare that that. Okay. Yeah. So your signal. I don't know if there's a, a broadband issue at your end because it is breaking up. And so I guess my my second question may be related in terms of recording. Like I know if you look at a recording from Zoom, it's actually pretty good quality. If you use something like a call recorder on Skype, the the quality just is not that great. It's not to look at it. Like, you know, interesting to look at again. So I'm curious to see the quality of the recording that comes off uh, off Blab. Yeah, I, I think I think a lot of it depends on the a yes the quality of the broadband. It is now ten to six in Ireland, so I'd say everybody is starting to get home in my local area, and the local Wi-Fi is currently being slammed. Probably, okay. even though we have we have on our our UPC our local server, um, we've got a, an Apple booster, so we get supposedly super fast broadband but i think irish super fast broadband is probably nowhere near as good as your super fast broadband because you see the quality of my picture i'm on an hd external webcam here but okay. my picture quality is nowhere near as good as either yours is david what what camera are you using here I, i've i've got a um, a logitech uh hd camera as well so you're, you're logitech a HD. i'm on a microsoft hd and faith what camera are you on Logitech as well. Logitech. So, I mean, I like the, the Microsoft HD is meant to be as, as good a quality, but I think this is probably slightly, slightly not such good quality here because of the broadband speed um, it, it, and, and, and my laptop being quite full. It's constantly trying to crank the catch up. But the one, the one I do love um, to test, are either of you guys using a peer dot in yet? Sorry, are, are you using which? I didn't hear that. A peer dot in. I've just typed that into the into the messages here. That's a free version. Um, it's kind of like Skype, but it's it's great if you've got really low broadband or low quality broadband because it enables people to jump in on a private call and you can have up to eight people okay. for free. You can claim a room. So like Faith, you and I could have a video chat room, Faith and Lottie room, just for the two of us, but we can invite David in and then we can have a private chat to plan a meeting or to plan a blab or to plan something. And it's a great tool to use if people don't have Skype or don't have Zoom. So David, does that help with your question of differences between the two there? Yes, it does. I mean, cause it's always, I'm not so fussed about the uh, the video, quite frankly, as long as the audio is pretty good. But I just noticed that sometimes when you want to repost a uh, a Skype call or something like that, unless you've captured it on ScreenFlow, it just I just don't find the recording is is useful. So that's yeah, good I, to know. I think with with the Blab recordings I've seen, some of them work, some of them don't. Obviously, this is still in beta, and the conversation that was going on the end of last week where YouTube was in beta for three years. So a lot of bad, like they've, they've taken away, they've brought back, they've just brought back, I see the ability to tweet and uh, Facebook at the beginning of your blab. And now they've got the share the last 30 seconds so that you can actually, people can, uh, can, can you see if you turn to your left of the screen, so your left, that, the other left, actually must be your right then, it says um, share the last, share the last 30 seconds. If you clicked on that, that would tweet out a video of the last 30 seconds of our of our conversation there oh, okay. um and so that that that's come back again but faith i just want to ask you then have you been you what tools have you been using for video chats video training so far so i i typically use skype on uh for my online coaching and my hypnotherapy sessions but then we've been using zoom for group meetings so where you have more than one or, you know, even three or four or five people doing a massive group mastermind type of program, then I'm using Zoom. And uh, and that seems to be working really well. Meeting burner for webinars and... Was that meeting burner? Meeting burner. Is yeah. that www.meetingburner.com? That's it. Yep. Okay, I'll pop that into the messages there. And... Um, WBB Daily was just saying, actually, another another new feature that came up at the end of last week that uh, has appeared is that if I open the window, I can actually post. The, this is apparently not available to everyone just yet. 
So I don't think in Ireland we can do this just yet because I've, I've been having a play and I haven't seen anyone do it, but I know people in the States and in Canada are testing where you can actually embed a YouTube URL and you can play a video. So in the fourth seat, so if it was open here, you can play a YouTube video. So Faith, that could be really useful for you because I know you use video demos a lot with your speaking yeah. and your training. And David, is that the same for you? Yeah. Yeah. So that that could be, oh, if, as WB Daily is saying, it's enabled on a per blab base, basis currently. Not quite sure what that means, uh, per blab basis. Oh, um, maybe you can maybe you can let us know. Yeah. Who, are, who is WBB Daily? And WBB Daily is a mobile. Is a our tenth anniversary. It's a mobile mobile magazine. It looks from the sounds of things. So we can follow. But the other thing, this is where Faith. If you go up to the top of the buttons here, you can see all the people here and click on and follow the people that you that you want to follow, which is nice here. Um. So, Faith, any other questions from your first, your virgin blab? You are no longer a blab virgin. So I'm sure you on my show was your first, first blab. I'm sure I have a ton. I'm actually kind of thinking that what would be a really great, useful blab would be how to use blab. Mm -hmm. So if we created just a bit of a, of a next call that is really solely based on how, how to get the best usage or, or what are all the tips and tricks that have been learned and invite people in to, to share those, I think could be a really fun blab. Yeah, there, there are quite a lot of blabs that um, that do that. Again, the, the Blab Nation team, there are a number of people who, I think I think it's a constantly, it's an ongoing thing. There are lots of levels of conversation. Um, and one one idea that, that a number of us have been chatting about who are also speakers, David, David are you a speaker as well? Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. Faith, Faith is nodding, and David's going. Hmm. So, so Faith is Faith. falling asleep. <laughs> so, so David is a speaker. Yes, Faith. Yes, yeah. he is. And David, David, David speaks on wonderful things about facilitation. I, I'm primarily a facilitator. When I when I speak, it's usually uh, tying in the concept of courage, courage lead, courage to uh, um, to innovate, things like that in a corporate okay. setting, but. 80% of my work is facilitating small and large groups. Right. And I was also, I mean, I, I know Faith through CAPS. Ah, okay. Well, I'm, 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 I met Faith actually through the Professional Speaking Association um, over here in, in England. Uh, this, this is our PSA badge. Oh, yes. It's not, it's not going to do the focus, I think. But so this is, this is our PSA here at this uh, UK I, 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 I've actually spoken over there and met incredibly wonderful people. Oh, brilliant! Well, that's that's where Faith and I met. Was at uh, was at the PSA Mega in the UK last uh, last October, which was fantastic. And then and then she did the sensible thing and came to Ireland for a proper dinner and a proper drink. Ah, uh, very good. Yeah, well, that's where I met people like Leslie Everett and. Uh, oh wow, uh, she's lovely. A lot, a lot of folks at the GSF way back. It was quite a few years ago. Yeah, I I think I think Faith, we we need, we need to have a kind of get together at, at one of the one of the GSFs or one of the. State side, if there's one East Coast Canada or something, then we need to now, get together. Chicago, we'll, maybe. We can all go to Chicago and have a meet up there. I think, I think Lottie should come to the CAPS convention in Edmonton in December. What do you think, Faith? Yeah, yeah, except that it's Edmonton. It's, <laughs> but, it's, but you don't have to leave the airport. <laughs> it is at the airport at a really funky hotel. Oh. So we would not even have to drive anywhere. We could have the most amazing experiences in an Art Deco hotel. And we would be really oh. nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> That's always wonderful to hear. That's always wonderful to hear. <laughs> well, if, it, if it's December, hmm, then, it, then you know what it's like, Faith. It's just, just convincing the boy, convincing the boys that this is the place to be for Christmas. In the first, the first week of December, because it's even before Christmas. Oh, okay. Well, we've 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 got a great friend, um, a great friend of Steve, my husband, um, opened a wonderful place that we've seen photos of called the Grizzly Bear Ranch, which is out in the Rockies, out your way. And apparently, it's like four or five different airplanes because you're going through the middle of nowhere to get there. And yeah. his wife is Estonian. He's he's English, and he was uh, he was a journalist during a lot of the wars. Um, in Kosovo and Bosnia and um, Iran and Iraq and Russia and Chechnya and all over 
all over the place. And so he and his wife, um, she was a Reuters reporter, and they set up this as a retreat for people who'd been in horrific work situations, basically. And they fundraised to get war-torn journalists sent out there as well um, to give people a holiday. But we've been saying for the last three or four years, we've got to get to Canada, we've got to get to Canada. So this might be another push to get out there and see you guys too. <laughs> so here's, here's a critical question for you. Yeah. March 17th is coming up, which I believe has some significance in certain places. Oh, and I, oh. And I know there's a lot of stereotypes around Ireland. I was over uh, at a meeting in Cork when I was working with Apple, and uh, one of my colleagues from the United States came in first thing in the morning and said, top of the morning to you. And all the folks from Ireland said, we actually don't say that here. So so my question is, do you really celebrate St. Patrick's Day with green beer? Or is that another myth that needs to be dispelled? Um, the green beer does happen in a few pubs in town, but it's not a, not a general, not everybody does it. Not everybody does it by all, all means. But uh, some, some crazy people do. But I think the, Amer the Irish always laugh over here because they say that St. St. Patrick's Day, as they call it here, not St. Paddy's Day, St. Patrick's Day, or St. Patty's Day, as we hear a lot of Americans say, it's St. Patrick's Day is more of it's it's kind of it's a family festival and they have a lot of um we have floats and fun things at a fun fair in town and and it's a it's a great break for the family yes there are there is a little bit of <clears throat> a little little just a little teeny bit of drinking involved with Guinness and whiskey and thank goodness for us here it's on a thursday this year so sc the schools are actually finishing up on wednesday for their easter holidays so that they can have okay. thursday friday and all of next week off so that they've all got st patrick's day off here so when faith and i quite often have our calls on on skype or or on uh, zoom occasionally we pretend we're in ireland <laughs> I'll let you use your imagination as to uh, what that might mean. Is 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 that is that with the with the Irish water or the um, the the Irish other type of water, the fire water or the brown usually water and, with the white hair? Usually, in large mugs, so one doesn't have to truncate the call to refill. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. Not not the brown water with the white head on. <laughs> no, it has to be clear so if anyone sees it, they can assume it's water, and we know better, mind you. <laughs> like tonic water. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> we stir it occasionally to make it appear like there's bubbles in it. <laughs> it's it's amazing. You do actually, on the one thing that does happen on St. Patrick's Day is you'll often get your Guinness with a shamrock or a shape. Put in or a harp or something that they do end up putting that in the top of all the Guinnesses on on St Patrick's Day, and uh, the the celebrations are the, the the crack is mighty as they would say, because crack agus cuol is Irish for fun and music. So there's lots of crack agus cuol that happens in Ireland on that will be, that will be happening on Thursday over here. So uh, it's a long weekend for many people, I think. And Hopefully that, ourselves included. And using that kind of term here gets you arrested for drugs. <laughs> Hopefully not too many people, not too many people will be doing that over here. I'm moving. Uh, yeah, okay. and if Donald Trump gets elected, we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be heading over there too because even Canada is too close if he gets elected. So I, I apologize if you're a Trump fan. Well did did you see we've got a fantastic show over here called The Last Leg, which is um, three comedians, one Australian comedian, Adam Hills, who is brilliant. I saw him in Australia years ago when I lived there. And he he has one leg. Um, and then there's another comedian who has one leg and his hands, um, I can't remember whether he was thalidomide or not, but basically he's he's only got two fingers and a thumb on on each hand. And um, Josh Whittacombe, who's a comedian, and he comes from Dartmoor, so they always say that's that's disabled enough for him, uh, which is part of the joke. Um, and they they started off with their program for the Olymp the Paralympic Games in 2012, and they've been going ever since with the latest news. And I love that there's they've got a new campaign which is um, build build the wall for Canada, and it's and it's www.brickingitforcanada.com. 
and you can go and see, you can join it, um, Breaking It for Canada. And uh, you'll see that there's how many people from UK and Ireland have, have, we've donated you a brick just in case you need to keep somebody out from America. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're probably getting from the States so that when they come here, they're protected as well. Exactly. Well, some, somebody's got to somebody's got to help. So it's actually bring it to Canada.co.uk. I think is the is the full URL. I've just typed in there, so you can go and see whether that is the correct one. Uh, but it's it's quite funny after the Mexican Wall because they were showing that the Mexican one of the Mexican politicians saying we ain't paying for that effing wall. <laughs> but you just go, oh for God's sake, why are you talking about building up walls? The whole point is that these days we're a global. This is what I love about Blab, is it's a global economy and a global world. We need to connect more with each other, not build blimmin' walls up between each other. Oh, my gosh, there's 108 million of them so far. Oh, it's, oh that's gone up from 53 million since last Friday. It was 53 million. It's oh. gone up to 108 million. But apparently, they only need uh, 1,545,000, so we're on the way. You're on the way to have your own wall if you really need one. <laughs> but then, but cool. then we were joking, saying that we were all joking, saying you guys are so polite and so nice that you probably have a door every five meters, saying hello, come in, welcome people in through your polite door. <laughs> or as they said at the uh, at at the big gala at the White House, it's only in Canada to be a, a famous or a number one bestseller called "I'm Sorry." <laughs> Brilliant. Love it. Love it. Hey, I'm looking forward to reading your book. Facebook. Wait, your book. Oh, my book. Oh, on thank you. Camera. Thank you. While yeah, you're probably. talking, they went online and ordered it. Oh, thank you very much, David. That's very kind of you. Thank you. And uh, any and any reviews that you'd like to put on Amazon.com? Very welcome. Thank you. Always I, welcome. Oh, always thank welcome. You. Well, the, the, the four, the four star or over ones are. Even one liners. <laughs> But so I, I I'm, going to, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, cut out and let you finish your blab. And it's been great seeing it and uh, meeting you and seeing Faith again. It's been hours. And uh, <laughs> well, hope to see you again. Hope to see you in Canada. I hope you can persuade, persuade whoever has to be persuaded to come to Edmonton. Because it doesn't matter love what to. the weather's like. The people are warm. That's it. Love, love to get over there. Love to get over. And David, thank you so much for popping for jumping in here. So we'll say au revoir to David. Thank you, and thanks for getting the book. That was wonderful. I got an oh, bye. Bye. So we'll kick, da kick David out there. And um, and then, Faith, we should probably let you. You've got to get on to a lunch meeting there in yeah. Canada. And yeah. uh, I've got to get on and cook some, cook some supper here tonight. Well, thank you. It's after six o'clock now. Thank you so much for doing this. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for coming on your f very first blab. And we've got the recording here. So I'll send you a link to to the recording and you can kind of play back and see what it looks like as a playback, both from YouTube, um, which looks slightly different, as I said, in YouTube to how you see it in, um, in Blab. But top tip that you can do for YouTube is you can actually copy all of the messages and questions that appear at the side. You can now copy those and paste those as the description in YouTube if you want to, that saves you having to do all of your YouTube um, description there. Okay. Because Faith, Faith you're, a, you're a YouTube, you're a bit of a YouTube expert, a YouTube guru. What would you say are the top tips now that people need to remember for their descriptions? Because I still see a lot of people don't do them. You know what? I think that you have to be really super clear and use kind of the high level uh, headlines. So what's the headline? What makes this particular video worth seeing? And then also tagging. Tagging is so important in terms of which audience, who is it marketed to. So getting that content out there. So piecing between the content and the video, kind of critical. People like to see, even though I think as speakers, we want to see each other talking. We don't leverage it nearly enough. Uh, we're, we're very good at producing articles and blog posts, but we need to be producing those same articles and blog posts onto YouTube videos. As they, as Gare Maxwell would say, if it doesn't happen on YouTube, it didn't happen. Oh, oh, I like that one. I like that. And where's, where's Gare Maxwell from? He's out of Ontario in Canada. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Yeah, but you can follow him. He's got a great, uh, he's been doing some video blogs. G A I R, Gare Maxwell. G A G A I R Maxwell. He's a Canadian Association of Professional Speakers member. Okay, so that's the CAPS, CAPS member. Um, yeah. He is as well there. Okay, fantastic. I'll, I'll, well, what I'll go and do is I'll see if I can find him on either. I'll, I've got to post your, I've got to post your Facebook page that people can get in touch with you here. So people can find you at Faithwood on Facebook, or they can join you in Twitter up above the top. And I'll find Gares as well before I close up the blab. Um, once we said goodbye to Faith here, um, and actually Faith, when you're talking about tags there for your YouTube videos. Mm. Because some the conversation that, that's been happening here in Ireland recently is they shouldn't just be using one word tags. That, no, it's that crazy. YouTube and Google are starting to go. It should be the why do this or how to do this. What would you say about that, please? I I completely agree. It, it, it's about really doing metadata. So it's it's about really kind of fine tuning with clarity. What's the value of watching this video? And then those phrases seem to be retweeting. And of course, all the same rules still apply. You know, is this a question? Is this a how to? Is this seven secrets to? And if you, you know, phrases like discover, revealed, uh, secrets of, or you will, you are, um, any of those kinds of introductions seem to just transfer well. And then I was just reading a blog post recently that said, the longer the blog post, the better. So including uh, great content in your video. So you can have, most of us are thinking, short, palatable, quick and pithy, uh, all, all good, but transferring people from that introduction piece into a longer video. If the video is done with emotion, a great story, uh, is connecting well with the audience, they prefer a longer video. If a great story connects, People do prefer it. Yep. Longer videos. Okay, I'll just type that in there for you from as your quote from us. Thank you very much there, Faith. Um, and and when you one last thing on the on the tags then, is it still you you still should though be tagging your name as a, obviously as a speaker or as a business, your business name, your um, does it work with hashtags or are your Twitter handles as well? Should you put in, be putting at at inspiring underscore minds, which is your um, your or my at press play press, which is the Twitter handle? You can, but there's been some arguments lately that it's becoming too annoying for people to see a hashtag in places where they don't belong. So hashtag trends very well on Twitter style formats. But when you see it in a Facebook post or you see it on a YouTube post that doesn't have a direct link connection, that it's actually irritating a lot of audience members. But so should, be should, should you use them as a tag or, or not, not necessarily in the description, but should you use them as a tag or not as a tag if you're trying to connect, cross connect to all of your social media? Yeah, I think that you can add it in as a social media link, but you're better off to do it as a link than a tag. Okay. Still, you can still use your hashtags and you can still use, use your Twitter handle, but, but only as tags. Yeah, use them as a link. Yeah. Okay. As tagged link. Okay. Um, and any other tips then for, for tagging or for improving your descriptions in YouTube for people? Do you know what it really improves is having great content. And so, you know, you can have any tag you like, because at the end of the day, if it's great content, people will share it. So what shares? Um, we, we don't care so much about likes anymore as much as we want to see people reposting, resharing. And so there should always be this call to action that asks and makes the request to, if you enjoyed this video, share it. Um, and so those kind of shareable posts are always, they're funny, they're emotionally uplifting, they're inspirational, uh, they have a feeling component to them. They're dynamic. So they've got great, you know, go back to the hard and fast rules that you talk about even in your book, which is, you know, great audio, strong video. Uh, nobody wants to hear the birds or the crickets chipping in the background. We need to make sure it's really super clear. If you've got too much wind noise, people are just not going to watch it. They, they can't listen to something that's, that's too noisy. If your post, your video post, is it has a story format, it draws people in. It's magnetic in terms of how 
people are, are you know, I, I think when I was speaking in October, I shared Maroon 5's sugar video. Um, it has this huge uh, component of, of seeing weddings where people are following the wedding and they're getting this impromptu song at their wedding. And it, 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 it creates a compelling story that makes people say, oh, I wish that was me. Or how cool would that be? And they can kind of connect to your video. As soon as people will connect to the video, your tagging doesn't matter anymore because it's going to get shared at such a massive level that, that it will tag itself more or less. So having yeah. the base back to you, so making sure that, that people know how to find you, there's a way to link it back to your website, there's a way to link it back to your social media sites, so that, that all of the components, the elements of things that you're working on to try and create your social media platform, your footprint, they're, they're being worked and leveraged together. So being able to share that video in multiple places. So we're seeing, you know, where's my audience? Always the question. I say, if you've got a great video, post it on Facebook, do it four times on Twitter, throw it up on LinkedIn. And, and I'm getting some great traction about using the LinkedIn um, blog posts. So embedding it there. If you've taken the time to create a great video, put it everywhere, <laughs> splash it out. You know, get it on SlideShare, get it, get it out on Pinterest, get it out in different places so that, that you increase the opportunity for people to reshare it. And we get it reshared because it has a catchy headline. Uh, the, the little narrative, the metadata that we're putting with it is clear about what the value of watching the video is. We draw them in with a great story right at the beginning. Think of it for speakers, think of it like a speech. You know, you want to start your keynote the way you would start a book or a movie. You want to grab their attention early and and then hook them with that excitement and that that interest, the curiosity that makes people stay tuned. And when we do that, I, I think that it works really well. And I, I could start doing a great video and then blabbing about it and connecting the links so that you have the conversation about why you did the video and then do the video. I think that could be a really cool link. Yeah, I, I, I see and also we were chatting earlier about the new the new Blab capability to be able to share a video URL um, actually live in one of the seats that you have here. I think that's something that I can see you, Faith, very quickly adopting that one when it's available for you to be able to do that because you yeah. do share so many amazing videos that you find and news that you, that you share from your speaking, speaking world. Um, so, because uh, I'm just trying, I'm just trying to, at the same time as listening to you, I'm this the, the joys of lab doing so many things at once. I'm trying to kind of post, post up, pop up in the text some of your some of the key gems that I'm hearing for you. So, post post your video links four times on Twitter, four yeah, times on right. Twitter, once on Facebook, once on LinkedIn. You know, so creating that kind of mass population in a day, right? So if you look about how you're getting it out there. And then some of the things I've been playing with is is having it, if, if you've got a really popular post, a really popular video, a really popular blog, um, something that has really trended well, then post it again and always do a link. So you've got the new one out, but if you haven't caught the one that trended so well, here's the link to that. And, and that can really raise your profile as well. Okay. And then what about, um, what about the difference now because again, the news in Ireland at the moment is all about how with Facebook, if you post direct to Facebook, Facebook are gonna, are gonna like you, but they're now starting to penalize you if you start posting a YouTube link. Is yes. that happening your side of the world or not so much? We haven't seen it terribly yet, but I've no doubt that that's coming. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's everyone playing nice in the sandbox or not, right? So we want to see, uh, we want to see the, the, the transition between everyone who's in competition with each other to, to be the choice for viral social media. And so I think that it's, it's just playing with it. And, and really, we don't care what the big players of Facebook and YouTube and Google say so much as we care about what our audiences are sharing. Because if we can get in front of our audiences, that's what keeps us working. And really, we need a reason. We're not we're not just posting as speakers. We're not posting, um, you know, Tommy bit his finger, or you know, or or a cute little puppy. We might share those, but there's really more value that that we can bring to the conversation when we do a post. And so, really thinking in terms of is it a case study? Is it a you know, when you're talking about confidence on camera, being able to show the controversial stuff as well as the really well done 
stuff is a nice niche. Even even the way that Donald Trump is is trending, you know, it's argumentative. It's like watching a train wreck, and of course, people just can't look away from a train wreck. Always true. Always true. It's they, the the things that slow down the traffic. It's always the the good right? thing. Whatever. It's the well, I can't even remember what we call them this side of the world. But there's the, the, the we used to call them in Australia. It's like the head the head bobbers. You see the heads just going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but, that, but that's always the view. I was saying the other week, that's the view that nobody wants to see on camera. We never want to see this. It's it. That's it. <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Spacey in his new acting online course was always talking about the audience doesn't pay to see the, see the top of your head. So show us your face on screen. It's true. That's I loved true. it. <laughs> and, and then what's going on in the background behind you as well? Yes, they're they're doing some HVAC repair in the house. So uh, I asked them not to be interruptive for the first little while, but we've exceeded the timeline I gave them. But that's a, I know that's fine, and I know you've got to get out. But also, it's great your guard dog is doing a fabulous job for you, following everybody around. So, but say, look, I've, I've got to, I must 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 let you go. Um, so is there? Uh, let me post up before we do. I'm going to post up a link to your website here as well, so that people can connect with you there. And uh, anything else, finally, that you want to give as uh, what you see as your number one tip for Blab so far? Well, I think you were my one, number one tip for Blab. Thanks for all your help. <laughs> oh, thank you, Faith. Well, bless you, darling. Bless you. People who are doing it. That's my tip. Always connect and collaborate with people who are already doing it well. <laughs> ah, that's that's a brilliant tip. Collaborate, collaborate and connect. I can type that in. Well, look, I'll I'll do that while I say goodbye to you and let you go off to your lunch meeting. And thank you so so much for popping in here for your very first blab. And um, as I said before, take take two, take three. I'll send you the full recording. It's a very long fifteen minute video blab today, but doesn't matter. When the okay. chat is good, it's great. Thanks, my darling. Thanks, I'll speak to you soon. Take care, Faye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So while Faith is gone there, I'm just going to type in Faith's, Faith's top tip. Top tip for Blab equals collaborate, collaborate and connect um, with good people. I totally agree with that one. Absolutely, totally agree with that. So with that, I will say an au revoir. Thank you again for joining this bonus video blab. Oh, for more than 15 minutes, but hey, if I've got faith in the room, I'm going to keep her chatting for as long as I possibly can. So we had big chats in the middle, lots of info at the top, lots of info at the end. And we had a great time in the meantime for her first blab. So remember, Friday, this Friday, it is 1.30 GMT. That's Greenwich Mean Time. That's the time we have in the UK and Ireland. Our clocks have not changed this side of the world yet. They will be doing so in a couple of weeks' time. So I think 1.30 is going to be 9.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time, East Coast Time, not 8.30 in the morning. And I think it's hopefully going to be a little bit earlier it was 9.30 in Asia and Perth, but that might even be earlier in the evening. And a little, it was 12.30 in Australia, in Australian East Coast. Hopefully that's now going to be 11.30 in the evening. So might be able to get a few more of my family mates from Australia joining us on the Friday video blab, 15 minute <laughs> video blab. So hopefully guys can catch up with you again very, very soon. See you on Friday. Ciao.